Hey, it's Snowflake. Uh, I'm going to show you today how to organize your Final Cut Pro project file and your hard drive. Now, I have a freshly formatted hard drive right here. If you ever want to change the name of that hard drive, you just do Command-I and you can change it in here, right? Or you can do Control-Click and get info uh, and just change it. I have it set up to the name of the project file, which is 10 Publishing underscore D3. That D3 is for Drive 3. We're going to close out of that. Now, right now the hard drive is empty. I have a grab me folder where I've already put my pre-created folders and how I organize my hard drive. I just drag them in here and I'll go through these and explain this to you. So I've got my assets folder right here and this is where I would keep music, graphics, uh, slides, motion files, anything like that, any sort of assets that I'm using in my Final Cut project file. Then I have my export uh, folder and this is where I export, you know, um, videos for clients to review or the final video uh, is all in this export folder with DVD files or anything like that is all in the export folder. Then you got your FCP ops and the FCP ops is just the Final Cut Pro operations and this is where I set the capture scratch and my render files and all of that. Um, the only thing I do not put in here is the auto save vault and I'll show you why and where I put that. Notes. Um, notes is for, you know, clients send you notes uh, or if, you know, Sometimes when I'm about to format the hard drive, I will create freeze frames of different parts of the hard drive so I remember how things are organized. And then you've got your projects folder, uh, which is where all the projects go. And I have my projects labeled as with the date, the project name, and the drive number. Uh, back to the autosave vault. If you actually notice when you go in Final Cut Pro, and uh, we're going to close out of this project file, and go to System Settings, you can change... Uh, your basically your capture discs and all that. So I have it set to FCP Ops, and I have uh, the waveform cache also set to FCP Ops, and I have the thumbnail cache set to FCP Ops. The only thing I do not have set to that is my autosave vault. That I set to my desktop. And I do that because, you know, if my hard drive was ever to fail and I needed a backup, well, I can go to my desktop. And it's brilliant. Uh, and then I can go and repair and bring everything back. Okay, hit OK. Uh, now in my project file, I already have all my bins in my project file the way that I organize them. So I'm going to just change the name of this to today's date, which is, uh, what's today? It's January 4th, 2013. <laughs> project 10X Publishing and D3. We're going to open this up. Now, if you want to take a look over at my bins here, eh? uh, here's where I keep my sequences. It's very simple. Sequences. Zero, 01 sequences. Zero, 02 is video. All my video files go in there. Zero, 03 is my audio files. OMG. Zero, 04 is my assets. And then I label 99 trash. So it's always at the bottom. Anything I don't want to use anymore, I just dump in that trash bin in case I need to go back and get it. Um, and then if I ever want to create an extra bin for the hell of it, that way, the trash is always at the bottom. That's pretty much it for my uh, for my organization. I uh, hope this helps you. If it did help you, subscribe, like my video, comment on the video, and then come back for more. Talk to you later.